mate. Kangaroo there, under the tree next to the wagon wheel. Well, you can't see him unless it moves, but there's another one right under the tree. Now those, those wallabies have been living there since Adam was a boy. And uh, they'll probably take off, so there they go now. Bounding off. Now whilst I was on the subject of murals up there in the house, little interlude there with the kangaroos. This is another mural I did many years ago. These are all our Gundungurra tribal markings. I got them off a, an old pamphlet. I couldn't call it a book. It had um, many of the, all these markings were on cut on uh, caves and carved in trees and on stumps and, and the like. Myself, I, they're rather bizarre looking sort of drawings, but to me, they're maps. Uh, not quite sure of what and where, but uh, that, this one here is a little bit geometric as this one is here, but here I reckon that this one's the, like uh, Noah Nulla there, Boomerang, Sickle, um, and here much of a Woomery type affair. But it's, that's only my slice on it anyway. And over here, just let me pan you across to one of my <laughs> projects from long ago. I've got to get this light. Yeah, there's too much light here. Let me see her. There she is. That was my my guitar girl. <laughs> she lost her hat. She's poor thing. She was a hammer. She's a hammerhead too. <laughs> this was a little hat. She was a. She was a. This, this is the old corn cob pipe. Get all those things around here. The, the vegetation has grown up all over it, but you can't really see a hell of a lot of it. Yeah, she's all painted up and uh, rather ornate. Yes. Anyway, let me take you on a little journey. Now, to my little world as it was up until a few years ago. Outside here, we've got the beautiful jasmine and wisteria growing up there. Jasmine on the top, wisteria all around. This here, this was a um, liquid amber I planted many years ago. That, what you can see there's the remin remnants of my bathroom. Let me just take you for a little walk inside here, show you around. Look, look at the place now, it's just totaled. Between the bats, the rats, the mice and the termites, they took over completely. Oh, there's Wendy's old samurai sword. She wants that back one day, maybe. in here that was my wonderful shower under the jasmine bush there I used to <coughs> wash myself washing machine here he is one of the windows everything's taken over there's the outside here is the workshop come storage room as, as you can see, there's just rubbish and junk and shit everywhere. Look at, look at the termites. 
the I'll just show you up here. See the termites have eaten through that log, that log, that log, and that one. All the roof joists. And they uh, are well and truly established in here now. Um, now, entering the front door, that's over there, we have the fireplace. Now, I made that myself. I, I did a lot of the work here, actually. Not the outer shells, but modifications in the place. And over here, let me show you this. See, can you see the um, old sewer pipes, concrete um they're not concrete uh, ceramic sewer pipes they they were raised up off the ground and i had my bed on top sitting on top of those like pylons and uh i had a bed that was up in the ceiling up there <laughs> living in the ceiling not a room down there uh here we have there i am in the mirror gotta take this I'm a, my lounge chairs and look all over here my bottles a lot, lot of the shit here I still haven't removed and stored away yet this is the flu now oh, shut your eyes as we step out here into the kitchen look at the rubbish on the floor here oh, what a disaster looking out in the wall the window there so I, I deliberately built see corners are always a wasted space that's why here I built the sink into the corner when I made this and also the stove here. Notice how it's built into the corner to utilise space. Or cupboard there, the termites have eaten that. That was a beautiful bloody mahogany and um, red cedar cupboard that the termites have eaten. As the pantry, I made that myself. Built that. And here we step out into the back room where we have last year's twigs left over. This was once my library area. I've always had numerous books there. There's a cupboard missing in the middle there. All over here we have. The walls, so they has been torn down. They tore all the insulation off the insides. The old hot water system there for the shower. And here's the remnants of my computer. Still works, actually. See again, see how I built everything into the corner? Utilising that wasted space. Anyway, that's a good chair, that. I'll have to see about getting that put away. And dumping all of this. Okay, folks, my stained glass window there, another one there. Look at the mess. Look at that. Look, that's where the termites ate one. There was that was one nest that they totally just demoralised the place. And there, that was another nest that they built. I, I was gone for a couple of months, mind you, and I come back. And that was it. They, they to just totally taken over. That that up there next to the flue was the that one there was the extent that was the extension. Uh, sorry, that was the extension of the other nest on the other side of the room. But this was in inside them to just decorate them up a bit. Now there is my toilet. I built that. The, the original stone dunny. Let's see how this light is here. There's one of my gardens, my lemongrass growing there. Over there, that was a, a huge caravan, had the hydro set up there, the coppers busted me for that. Anyway, here is my incomplete toilet. I <laughs> I didn't end up getting a roof on it, but uh, oh well, look, it was just I, mean, I was going to have the, the the doors out the front, the the wooden door with the old moon cut out, 
just so it may resemble the the real stone country dunny. Yes, it's not a bad. Well, considering that those stones, I put some of those. I'm talking about some of those stones. All of those stones up by myself, and some of them are pretty bloody big and pretty heavy to have to lift up that height. No scaffolding, of course, and concrete them in and hold them in and have them set. Anyway, panning across here, I've got my grevilleas there, and that's over over yonder is the neighbour's place. They've got a couple of wallabies bounding over there. They're, they're pets. And sitting under the tree there, where is he? There's another one. There's another, it's another one of the house pets. Here is the rest of the house yard here. And this, this was a grave mistake I made putting this here. Let me get a shot of it. My little totem pole there, right? It was once all painted up and decorated in uh, curry style. This was the, 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 the main problem I had when I imported my termite problem was erecting this because they set up the hugest nest inside of there that you've you got no idea. It was just incredible. And they're still there to this day, no doubt. Um, okay, now panning across, we're just looking up here. The next door neighbour's place up there. Now slowly we pan across and go up there and there's there's the house. There's the that's the, the new house, what I call the new house. The the blood money house that they're all bickering and fighting over now. And here as opposed to my humble little shack here with my with the Buddha and my little alien common theme, alien mates always there somewhere. Nice little path that I more my landscaping work there and and gardens there. That uh, that tree. I remember planting that and it was just the tiniest, tiniest little little thing. And now it's just enormous. Also this here um, miniature, <laughs> I repeat, miniature lily pilly, and the size of it, it's 20 foot. <laughs> All this part here is bloody Grace's cows next door. Eight, that's why there's absolutely nothing in any of the gardens here, or any, everything's destroyed, absolutely everything. But from the cows, they just get in there, they eat it. All, all the gardens, just all gone. Say la vie. Que sera, sera.